Welcome to more Brewskis with your friend Chris Ski. Or something. I don't know exactly what I call this is. But today we're not brewing magic. We're brewing. <laughs> I don't know what this is. We're brewing 40k. I don't know exactly what this series is gonna be called. But it's essentially gonna be me ranting about a special army list that I've come up with, which is weird in some way and hopefully strong in some way, or d does something very unique or something. And today we're gonna talk about cheese dealer guns. So yeah, let's just jump right into it and we'll see how many mining lasers we can get and how OP they can be. So the entire idea, the entire inspiration behind this thing was when I read through the custom cult creeds that we of course got in the Psychic Awakening. So if so we can of sure, of course, when you're playing using the cult, you can choose one of the standard cult creeds. They're fine, they're all they're, 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 they're good, but they're not. <laughs> like the custom cult creeds are. If your chosen cult does not have a associated cult creed in Codex Gene Stealer Cults, you can create its cult creed by selecting two rules from the following list. And mm, what's this say? Spicy selection. So the, the entire thing, okay. The entire reason why I wanted to play these guys is of course because of this thing. Workers Arisen. When resolving an attack made with a weapon from the heavy mining weapon list, we can hover over this, which includes the mining laser. By a model with this cult creed, you can reroll the hit roll. But then you say, can't you get a silly amount of mining <laughs> lasers? Well, yes, you can. And mining lasers, if you don't know the mining lasers, it's very similar to a last cannon. It has a little bit of a shorter range and stuff. We're gonna have a look at the profile very, very soon. But you we need this for the, this combo to work here. We need workers arisen. We need to read all the hit roll because we need these guys to really crush with the mining lasers. We can't just have a silly amount of mining lasers, have ballistic skill 4 and miss all half of the time. <laughs> That's not gonna work out. We're gonna do workers arisen. Second thing we're gonna choose is of course seasoned enforcers. Infantry models with this cult creed do not suffer the penalty for moving and firing heavy weapons. And of course, the heavy mining laser, or the mining laser, which is a heavy mining weapon, is of course a heavy weapon. So we are not gonna get any penalties for moving with this, which is perfect because you might want to, you know, just arrive from underground like, like the Insta cults do. So, that's the most important part of the combo. But how many mining lasers can we actually get? Well, here's the thing. If we go to Neophyte Hybrids, turns out they're freaking dirt cheap. <laughs> they cost six points a model, and Hybrid uh, may replace their Autogun with one item from the heavy mining list. Two Neophyte Hybrids. So you get two heavy mining weapons. And what are we gonna choose? Well, of course, we're gonna go with the mine laser. Plus 10 points. That's a strength of 9, AP minus 3, much like the last cannon. Damage of D6, much like the last cannon again. I guess it has a little bit shorter range, so it's only 24 inch range. But when you can deep strike your entire army, I don't think the 24 inch range is gonna be that big of a dealio. So that's what we're gonna do, but how are we gonna get enough of these guys? Isn't there a thing called a rule of three? If you don't know, the rule of three states that you can only include three total of one data sheet in your army, except one very important exception there. If it's a troop, or if it's a transport, which means we can take a silly amount of neophyte hybrids. How many can you take? Well, what we need is a big ass detachment. And usually it's the patrol or it's the battalion, but we are of course using the brigade, of course. If you include three HQs, which is a little bit of a tax, I should say, on this army list, we can then include 12 troops. I cost 4 command points, of course, but if our warlord is in this detachment, you know, we get them back, it doesn't matter, just like all the other things. So, we can get 12, which means we can get, okay, we want to include the minimum amount, of course, because we're only in it for the, for the mining lasers. So we can get 120 neophytes with 24 mining lasers. And okay, yeah, we need to buy some HQs also, but just that... Just the heavy mining lasers and the neophytes is 960 points. But my god, are we gonna have a lot of mining lasers? They all reroll to hit, so they're very, very reliable at hitting. But we can get even better than this. We can get super reliable at hitting stuff. So, what we're gonna do, since we need to do three HQs here, let's go to the HQ selection. Data sheets, we're gonna go to. First, we're gonna check out the Jackal Alphas. 
Priority target sighted. At the start of your shooting phase, select an enemy unit. This means that we just, of course, we choose one target. <laughs> it's very complicatedly worded. But we choose one target, like a big knight or something. Then we get plus one to it, which means that we have three plus with reroll that Even if we move, even if we arrive from deep strike, we're gonna have a three plus and reroll the hit roll. Which we, 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 we're gonna hate everything. <laughs> we're gonna hit everything with mind laces. But now, how are we gonna boon everything? Well, we have strength 9, and even the knights in this game are strength 8. And by strength 8, I mean toughness 8. So we're going to wound them on 3+. plus. But we need a reroll, of course. <laughs> we might, you know, we might not wound them. There's a chance we might not wound them. So we're, of course, also gonna have a Primus in, the, in this arm list. I'm always saying deck list. Arm list! <laughs> the, the Primus has an ability called Meticulous Planner. The first time this model is set up on the battlefield, select one enemy unit on the battlefield, reroll ro wound rolls of one made by friendly cult units that have a cult ambush ability whilst they are within six of this model when targeting that enemy unit. So I guess deployment is gonna be a little bit uh, difficult. You essentially want the Primus and Jakar Alphas in the center of your army, and then you want everyone. Think about like making a flower or something, like you make the petals stand out like this. <laughs> Or something. And then in the center you have the Primus and you have the Yakal Alphas. We have to deploy something like this. So, red thing here, our opponent's deployment zone. Purple thing, our deployment zone. This black thing here, the battlefield. These things, terrain. <laughs> and these things, the blue thing in the things around here. These are how we have deployed the neophytes. And in the center, of course, we put the Yakal Alphas. With the Primus. And probably they put the Praetorch there also. That's a deployment. And you get reroll wound rolls. You don't get to reroll wound rolls of two. So yeah, you can fail on twos if you're shooting like a big target, like a knife or something like that. That is, that is true. But everything else is going to result in some damage. And this is its uh, AP minus three and D6 damage. I don't know how many knights. I probably I will. I made a calculation on this. How many knights will twenty four mining lasers? With rerolls to hits and wound, take out every turn. Ho hopefully, there's going to be up on the screen, or I forgot about it, and that's fine if I forgot about it. I I'm, I'm thinking it's probably a lot of knights that we can take out with this. I'm thinking it's a lot, and that's not even that many points. If we we need actually to have a third one, uh, and I'm thinking for this arm list that probably the last choice we would go for is probably just going to be a patriarch, something that can just heroically intervene from the middle of our blob and have a decently good melee profile. So I think we're gonna add in the Patriarch, even though it has no real synergies. I mean, I guess it actually does have a really good synergy with this army because it makes everything uh, pass Moralta, so everything's also fearless. That's kind of nice. And we have a silly amount of obsec, so, so I think that should be good. Yeah, I don't want to make these uh, videos too long. That's essentially the entire idea behind the combo. This entire combo is clocking in at 1255 points. So that means that you can join in something else that you want from some other army. Maybe you want some more durable things. You don't have many. You have a lot of things. You have a lot of infantry in this <laughs> in this arm list, but you don't have the too durable things. So maybe you could get some Brood Brothers, I don't know, some Death Corps of Krieg, Death Riders. Maybe some Bullgrin or something like that, or maybe you can join in something cool from Tyranids like a Dimacron, I don't know. <laughs> you could do whatever. You have 1255 points, or you could just go AWOL with this. Oh man, I, hopefully, maybe I'll, I'll make a calculation how many mining races that's gonna be. I haven't made a calculation for that yet. If you actually add two, uh, two detachments with just, have, with just mining races and just do the same cult grid again, because you could do that. Oh, that's gonna be a lot. <laughs> maybe there's be a, gonna be a calculation about that on the screen, or maybe it's not gonna be. We, we, we will see. That's the entire idea behind this thing. Hopefully there's gonna be more of these videos. We'll see. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching, everybody. And see you 